Welcome, Mr. Green. Glad to see you today. Tell me what brings you in to see me today. Well, I was referred by my employer. Uh, they said that I needed to come see you based on the issues that we're about to talk about. Okay, so your job sent you. Tell, tell me a little bit more about why they sent you. Well, I have been getting complaints from my employees saying that I'm pushing them too hard. I may be a little rough verbally to them. Um, and it's gotten back to management and management sat down with me for a while and um, they determined that I need some anger management uh, training and thus I'm here. Okay, so it sounds like you want to get the job done right the first time and that it doesn't matter sometimes if somebody's feelings get hurt. Correct. Um, I feel that there's nothing wrong with constructive criticism. I've been through it all my life and you can see where it got me today and I feel like I'm very successful so yes. so it sounds like the only person who really has an issue right now are the staff who are complaining to your employers uh, pretty much um, I've been doing this for 20 plus years I've never never had an issue at all so um, I think mostly the responsibility responsibility relies on them okay so tell me about some of the issues that the employees or the employers are saying are going on. Uh, well, for one, I'm very strict. Um, I want my line to start at 8 o'clock sharp. Mm -hmm. uh, if there's a stop in my line, I, I do get a little bit rough with them, and I, I, I will yell. Uh, I may say a thing, few things that may hurt somebody's feelings, but I need to get my job done, and I would like to have my job done between the hours that we are allotted to work. So if it's from eight to five, nine to five, I need my job, I need my task taken care of promptly. Okay, all right. So if your supervisor referred you here today, if you decide to continue doing business this way, what do you think some of the consequences might be? Well, I can tell you right now, I've, I've been written up three times prior to this, and I can honestly say that the next, this next hit here, if I don't kind of cooperate, uh, this will probably be termination. Okay. So it, it sounds like you really can't see yourself doing things any differently, yet uh, you sound a little bit concerned about possibly losing your job. Yeah, I mean, I'm very, very close to retirement. Um, I have kids who are in college. Uh, I do have a household to take care of. I, I bring home the, the bacon. I mean, my, my, my family got to eat. Um, we need clothes on our back. We, 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 I, I, can't, I can't see myself losing a job right now. Okay. Well, it sounds like uh, your, responsibility, your responsibilities at work and the responsibilities that you have at home are really important to you. And it, it sounds like you're willing to do whatever you need to do to make sure that you're able to take care of both of those. Pretty much. I mean, I'm willing to, to, to try. Um, I, again, I, uh, losing a job is, has not been in my cards. Uh, I, like I said, I've been doing it for a long time. So, mm -hmm. yes. All right. So, tell me. If you were to try to do things a little bit differently than what you've been doing in the past, then I know you, it sounds like you got a lot of experience and you know how to get a job done, but if you could imagine yourself doing things a little bit differently, what, what might that look like? I can say the key word for me is being more patient. Okay. Uh, patience, uh, I, I, I can snap real quick. It doesn't take much for me to snap mm -hmm. uh, I can actually in a sense take a step back and actually think about what I'm going to say before I say it because now that I'm understanding that what I do say hurt people's feelings I, I, I would probably do it that way as well just take a step back at the same time I guess I can just be a little bit more laid back and not as Strict as I am. Again, like I said, I got to work my line. Eight o'clock on the dot, five o'clock on the dot, we're done, and I'm going to get progress. Again, been doing this over 30 years, 10 years with another company, 20 years here. I've always gave my job my utmost hard work, my blood, sweat, and tears, and I really feel as though out of these 20 years, I gained them profit 
I been, they, they benefited from me and I as well I benefited from them. So I think that would be the first step is okay. just to be patient and to kind of step back from the situation. Okay. Well, it sound, definitely sounds like you have a, a lot of knowledge, a lot of wisdom, a lot of experience on this job. And it sounds like the staff could definitely learn a lot from you. It sounds like you're very passionate about what you do and that you re, you've given a whole lot to the company and that you just want to make sure that everything continues to run well. Correct. Okay. All right. Well, um, it sounds that sounds like a, a good place for us to kind of focus on. Could you tell me uh, what would be most beneficial to you during our time together? Um, I guess going over a few steps, pre scenarios, but my question to you would be is um, is what we are talking about confidential? Is it I mean this is between me and you, correct? Well, uh, Mr. Green, I have to be honest with you. Um, what we talk about is confidential. However, if uh, you do relay any type of information that makes me feel that you may be a danger to yourself or a danger to someone else, I do have a responsibility to report that. I understand, but I, I, I you gotta understand me. I can't lose my job. I can't do. I got. I gotta take care of my wife. My, you know, I got a beautiful wife at home. I need to take care of her. Got to make sure my kids are well educated. Mm -hmm. But you know, I just want to make sure that whatever I say is in strict confidentiality. Um, I, I don't feel like I'm in danger to myself. I'm just a hardworking man. Just want to make sure that my that, that that everything is taken care of on both professional and in my personal life. So. All right. So is there anything else that you would like to share or anything else that you want to work on during our sessions? Um, at this point, I just probably want to take it one step at a time um, and just see how things go. I, I, I mean, any suggestions that you may have that will kind of benefit me going into this next week because I know they're going to be looking at me very hard. Mm -hmm. and I, I at least want to kind of uh, have some sense of change uh, okay. going into the week. So any suggestions you may have, I will take it in and kind of kind of work that in my daily task. Okay. Well, this sounds like a good place for us to stop for today. Uh, I, I think that's a very good suggestion that you have that we can kind of focus on you kind of taking a step back, being a little bit more patient, um, and just doing what you need to do to make sure that you remain employed and you remain productive at home and as well as productive on the job. That sounds great. So can we meet same time uh, next week? Sure. Okay. All right. That sounds great. I, I look forward to hearing how the next week goes when you're implementing kind of some of the patience and kind of making some small changes. Uh, thank you very much for your time. All right. Thank you so much for coming All right. in. All right. Thank you.